What do you think of Mr. Trump? Everyone has an opinion. I, uh, I have a lot of opinions. As, um, I'm, uh, you know, my favorite movie of last year was called Hypernormalization. I recommend anyone watching this Hypernormalization. It was made by a BBC filmmaker named Adam Curtis, who's a brilliant filmmaker. And he made this film that you can watch free on YouTube. And, uh, and it is, it really explains starting uh, in 1975 in New York City when the city almost went bankrupt up until how we got to where we are now. And it's a dense documentary, but you see how uh, uh, a lot of the uh, uh, techniques of what Putin used in his presidency with the theater of politics, with distraction, the distraction of the populace, playing everyone against each other so that a capitalist faction or a dictator light like a uh, point of view can get through. I think that the way that Bannon uh, a and deals with Trump, I think that it's taken from that rule book. If you study that kind of Russian politics, it's almost taken to a T. So what frustrates me is that I think that, you know, you know, it's the the hardest thing about him is it's it's so easily distract. People are so easily distracted by identity politics and by the you know clearly racist things that he, and you know I don't know if supports but tries to needle the public. And I think by needling the public, it allows him and the billionaires that he has appointed to his administration to do whatever they want. Like do a little dance. Yeah, you do a little dance. So it's like when you see kind of like even piggybacking on learning about as you know. Uh, tabloid journalism, which he's the king of, and entertainment journalism, how entertainment and journalism has completely sure. uh, uh, conflated. It, it's like, you know, it's hard to understand what's real and what's not. He's Good. brilliant at that. Yeah, he is. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, on demand on Aura TV and Hulu.